probably tell, overwhelming because of these guys. One Direction here, ready for our most exciting summer concert yet. Yeah, but we have so much great One Direction music coming up. But but first, let's take a, to have a chat with the guys, Niall, Liam, Louie, and Harry. Yep. Welcome, you guys. Welcome. Thank you for having us. How's it going? Definitely, Thank definitely. You. Now. The last time you played in the park was in November 2013. There were, there were five of you then. And, and Zane, he actually tweeted out and said, hey, he really supports you guys. He loves the new music. And how does it feel to be a foursome now? Well, I mean, obviously it's, it's different. But, you know, when you lose a member of your team, obviously everyone gets a little bit closer together. And no, it's still going great. And that's what this album's about. We're still going strong. And we're all still here, so. Yeah, clearly, name of the song, Drag Me Down, nothing dragging you guys down already. Number one in 86 countries. Whoa. Not bad. Question is, why the decision to re release it in the middle of the night? Let me ask you. Right. Um, I think we just wanted to kind of drop it out of nowhere, I think. Usually we kind of do a big run up to it, and I thought, we thought it'd be fun this time to just kind of drop it and it was it was fun and also, it worked, yeah a lot of stuff usually no, leaks fun. sorry no also it's the middle of the day somewhere in the world so it's true that, you know. well you can drop mm. it anytime as you see it it still goes to number one <laughs> and, and, and you guys you have your your fifth studio albums coming up and can you give us a hint of your fans what they can expect from this album um i suppose it's quite Eclectic, really, isn't it? It's good. Oh, like, very nice vocabulary, Liam. Thank you. Check that out. Thank you. Um, yeah, no, mm. it's all quite different. There's a couple nice, slow, sort of usual One Direction songs on there, but we've taken a lot of inspiration from like older artists, I guess. Which is like the police feel on Drag Me Down. It's like, yeah. We took a lot of inspiration from older artists and stuff, I guess. What you do you say? I, I guess you're right, Liam. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> In the midst of all of this, and thank you for stopping by Good Morning America, I know you're also in the Thanks middle of a huge us. tour, um, playing playing uh, in New Jersey, MetLife Stadium, tomorrow night. <laughs> How do you handle all the screaming, all of that energy? Well, we but love it. It's great. I, I yeah, mean, I would great. imagine it's pretty darn good. Do you, What do you do but kind of behind the scenes? For yourself. Do you know what? It's not actually that exciting. We're usually quite chilled out backstage. People think there's some sort of routine we have going on, but we're just not routine sort of guys. <laughs> there you go. Well, I gotta say, um, Louis, from, from one father to another, I want to congratulate you on your upcoming fatherhood. Yes? So, how are you feeling? Thank you, yeah. Um, obviously, it's, it's a very exciting time, so uh, I'm buzzing. Thank you. Congratulations again, yes. You seem very quiet today. No, not quite. Harry, Harry's chilling. He's letting the other guys <laughs> do what they're going to do. Time. You are? Yeah. What do you want to say to your fans out here who waited, some slept in the rain for two days? Just uh, a massive thank you. Obviously, they, they kind of they continue to surprise us with how incredibly um, dedicated they are. Obviously, we, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. So thank you so much, everyone who stayed out and everyone who's here. Hello. And, and one more question for you guys. Uh, you're, we're going to talk about your commit to, commitment to helping young people make a difference with the Action 1D. So tell us what that's about. Well, we've kind of collaborated with uh, Action 2015. Um, and the thing is, our, our, the people who support us have such incredible power that I don't maybe think that they even know about. So, you know, I think we wanted to use it and do something to make a real difference. So we're kind of... You know, the power that they have is kind of aimed now towards, you know, poverty and global warming and hunger and um, stuff like that. So that we try and, you know, get people to kind of listen and do yeah. something about it. So, to, yeah, to they're, very, they're very powerful, up. those. The power of the people. people. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. <laughs>